At the time of this video, we have already reached 200 subscribers, so thank you very much for visiting my YouTube channel. Many of you have expressed their interest in more functional equation and differential equations, so this is exactly the video that I'm going to do for you today. The differential equation that we are going to solve today is the following one. So we have y prime plus y equal f with f that is continuous and t-periodic. And the question is, can you find a solution y that is t-periodic as well? We are going to approach this problem in two steps. The first step will be to identify a general solution. And the second step is to find a specific solution that will be t-periodic. Let's start with the first step. For this first step, we are going to use a well-known trick, which is to multiply by the exponential function. And this is because we have the sign plus 1y that we can multiply by exponential. So what we're going to do is to write y prime x exponential of x plus yx exponential of x equal f of x exponential of x. And the reason why we can write this is because we just multiply the two sides of the equation by exponential of x. Now you can notice the form u prime v plus u v prime and you know that this is the result of uh, differentiating the product uv. In fact, as you may know, if you differentiate the exponential function, you're just ending up having the exponential function again. This means that this equation is equivalent to d over dx of yx exponential of x is equal to f of x exponential of x. By integrating this on both sides, we can write that yx exponential of x is equal to the integral from 0 to x of f of t exponential of t dt plus a constant of integration a. In other words, the solution of this uh, differential equation are the yx is equal to exponential of minus x integral from 0 to x f of t exponential of t dt plus a exponential of minus x. Now, as we said, uh, the function f is supposed to be t periodic. So for those who don't know what this means in practice, it means that for any value x, you're having the equality f of x plus t is equal to f of x. So a good example of function that is t periodic is, for example, the sine and cosine function that are 2 pi periodic. Knowing that, we are wondering, is there a solution y of the previous equation that is also t periodic? Saying that y is t periodic means that it verifies the same equation, which means that y of x plus t is equal to y of x. So in other words, we have y of x plus t minus y of x that is supposed to be equal to zero, whatever the value of x is. So let's go ahead and develop this formula based on the formula of y of x that we have identified before. We can write that y of x plus t minus y of x is equal to integral from 0 to x plus t of f of t e dt dt plus the constant of integration a multiplied by e of minus x plus t minus the same thing but we go all the way to x f of t e dt dt plus a multiplied by exponential of minus x. So the first thing that we're going to do is to identify a common factor by first noticing that e of minus, 
So exponential of minus x minus t is nothing else than exponential of minus x multiplied by exponential of minus t. So we can put exponential of minus x as a common factor for this formula. So we have exponential of minus x multiplied by the integral from 0 to x plus t ft et dt plus a multiplied by e minus t minus the integral from 0 to x ft et dt plus a. Now what we're going to do is to put the integral item together and the non-integral item together. So we can write that this is equal to exponential of minus x of the integral from 0 to x plus t of f of t e dt dt multiplied by e minus t minus the integral from 0 to x of f of t e dt dt plus a multiplied by e minus t minus 1. And notice that because exponential of minus t is a constant, there is no problem of injecting it in the integral over there. So we can write that this is equal of exponential of minus x integral from 0 to x plus t of f of t et multiplied by e minus t. So as you know, e dt multiplied by e minus t is equal to e of t minus t. So we can write directly e t minus big t dt minus the integral from 0 to x of f of t exponential of t dt plus a e minus t minus 1. What we would like right now is the stuff in this integral and the stuff in that integral to look a bit similar so we can do something by combining these two integrals together. So there is a trick we can use here, which is to have the same t minus t here and there by doing a changement of variable inside this integral. So in the second integral, instead of having t that go from uh, 0 to x, we're going to replace t by t prime minus t that still has to go from 0 to x. So this is equivalent of writing that t prime has to go from t to x plus t. So this formula is equal to e minus x of the integral from x plus t ft et minus t dt minus the integral from big T to x plus big T of f t minus t exponential of t minus big T dt plus a of e minus t minus 1. But we should remember that because f is t periodic, we are having the equation f of t is equal to f of t minus t. So this is equal to exponential of minus x, the integral from 0 to x plus t, ft et minus t dt, minus the integral from t to x plus t of f of t exponential t minus t dt plus a e minus t minus 1. What you can see here is that now we are integrating exactly the same function, which is f of t e t minus t, but we are not integrating in the same from the same number. One we integrate from 0 to x plus t, and the other we integrate from t to x plus t. So basically, the result of this subtraction is the integral from 0 to t. So we can write that this is equal to exponential of minus x, the integral from 0 to big T of f of t et minus t dt plus a exponential of minus t minus 1. We can 
extract the e minus big T from this integral. So this means that we can rewrite this as exponential of minus x, exponential of minus big T, the integral of 0 to big T, f of t, e dt dt, plus a, exponential of minus big T, minus 1. And what we can see is that a condition for this formula to be equal to 0 is to have this part equal to 0, because exponential of minus x will always be strictly positive. So this implies that the exponential of minus t integral from 0 to t f of t exponential of t dt plus a exponential of e minus t minus 1 must be equal to 0. This is equivalent to say that a exponential of minus t minus 1 must be equal to minus exponential of t integral from 0 to t of f of t e dt dt. In other words, we need to have a equal to exponential of minus t integral from 0 to t f of t e dt dt divided by 1 minus exponential of minus t. Or if we multiply by exponential of t on the numerator and the denominator, we have a that is equal to the integral from 0 to t of f of t exponential of t dt divided by exponential of t minus 1. And notice that this is actually the integral from 0 to t of exponential of t dt, so we can rewrite this as the integral from 0 to t of f of t e dt dt divided by the integral from 0 to t of exponential of t dt. This value of the constant of integration a is actually a necessary and sufficient condition for the solution y to be uh, t-periodic because when we have this value of a, we are guaranteeing that y of x plus t is equal to y of x for any value of x. So as a conclusion, the solution of the equation that is t-periodic is the function y of x, which is equal to exponential of minus x, the integral of 0 of 2x of f of t exponential of t dt plus the integral from 0 to t of f of t exponential of t dt divided by exponential of t minus 1. And this is the only solution of the differential equation that is also t-periodic. Thank you again for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it, and please let me know in the comment if you want more videos like this or different type of math problem that you want me to solve.